Hey, this is Will. So in this comparison between Sender and MailChimp, I am not just going to tell you what features one software and the other has, but rather than that, I'm going to tell you what exactly is the difference between the two and what you need to pay attention to and what are the most important things and which of them is actually better so hopefully this is going to be very very useful i do have some special discounts and bonuses so check out the links down below in the description also make sure to check out my website i do have some very very useful freebies that can help out your business there also make sure to check out my main youtube channel for some really useful marketing videos and my instagram account for some quick and actionable growth hacks now let's jump straight into it so first of all the first thing that i would say is most important in email marketing is the automations and when it comes to automations um as you can see this is a mailchimp automation builder and they are pretty much the same in terms of all of the functionality and all of that uh, the interface of both of these is very very simple to understand i would say there is just one difference that I don't like with MailChimp. And that is, so when we go through these automations, we want to basically select an action. So we send out an email and then we want to select that if uh, a certain thing has happened, uh, what are we going to do next? What's the next action? And as you can see here, we choose what that thing is. And within the campaign, we can choose whether um, an email was open, an email was uh, sent, uh, it wasn't opened, a link was clicked, and it wasn't clicked. And the thing that's lacking here is I don't really care if a link was clicked if I don't care about the link. So if you have perhaps multiple links, and let's say you have your social media or something like that. I don't care if they clicked on my social media link. I really care if they clicked on my offer on my main CTA. And this is pretty, pretty important. This is something that Sender does have. As you can see here, I set it up that within this email, a specific link has clicked and then I can choose out of all the links that are in the email. As you can see here, we have our social links. I can choose that I want this specific email to be clicked. And if it was clicked, if it wasn't, then I can set up everything else. So aside from that, I would say though, in terms of automation, you pretty much have all of the same features, more or less. Uh, both of these softwares, I would say they are lacking some features. So a couple of things that are very, very important is having split testing within your automations. So A-B testing different emails, seeing which one is performing better. Perhaps you want to change up different subject lines and see what gets more open rates. Another thing that is also super important is to have a trigger that if someone visits a specific page on your website, let's say someone views a product or a service on your website, but they don't take any action, you can create a trigger that you're sending out an email. So let's say you are sending out a discount to encourage them to purchase that product that you know that they were looking at. That is insanely powerful and unfortunately neither of these softwares have i just wanted to mention that because i think it's important for you to understand that this is something that you can do with email marketing and it's something that you want in email marketing software so if you want um to have some of those features then you need to look into either um active campaign get response um aweber or Moose Send, one of the cheaper options as well, has this these functionalities as well. The next thing is pop-up collecting emails from people that visit your website. This is very, very important and they do have a little bit different pop-ups. So this is the one on sender. It's kind of a basic pop-up. You can't really, you can customize some of the basic stuff. And this is the one that is on MailChimp. And the way they are different, so first of all, on MailChimp, one thing I will give them props for, you can change which side you want to have the image on, which is something, and you can actually even create this one that is just um, at the bottom, which is something that you're not able to do on Sender yet. 
And another thing that you can do, so if you go to settings, you can have this pop up. This is basically just comes in the middle of the screen. And this other one, it just slides in. So in this case, the pop up slides in from the side. And again, on sender, you don't have this functionality yet. On some other email marketing softwares, you actually have more functionality. So you can actually even make it full screen. You can have it coming in from the side, but be the whole side and not just a small corner pop up. So some of the other email marketing softwares have even more advanced ways you can do that. The one thing though, and I think this is actually more important than the way it looks. Sorry, if we go to the settings, you will see here you have the display settings and you can choose after five seconds, after 20 seconds, scroll in the middle of the page, um, scroll end of the page on exit. And that is it. And this is not a lot, honestly. And this is super, super important. More than the design, I would rather have these functions uh, have more customizations here. And this is what Sender does. So honestly, I would say Sender has better pop-ups because they have the customizations, the behavior as they call it. Um, so within here, you can see I can customize, do I want it within five seconds? I can actually, sorry, I can choose when exactly do I want in this time. Um, however many seconds I want it um, to, to, pop, to create the trigger when, when it triggers the pop-up. Also, um, I can choose the percentage of what percentage of the page someone has to scroll through. So I can customize this a lot. I don't just have to, don't have just have two choices and that is it. And also even with the exit pop-up, I can have some customizations here as well. And then I can also set the frequency, even the uh, scheduling and so on. So the frequency, you might not want to always show the same pop-up and annoy people. So I might only show you, let's say, choose that. I'm going to show that pop-up only every 30 days to the same person. Now, when it comes to newsletter builder, it's pretty much kind of the same. Uh, when it comes to MailChimp, you have all of uh, these elements here, as you can see. And when it comes to sender, it's pretty much the same as well. You have all of the main elements. As you can see here, you have timer and you have reviews. It is on the pro plan. And with MailChimp, you do have like a promo code, uh, but then again, you can just put in promo code as a text. So more or less, I would say there isn't any major difference. Oh yeah, sorry, there is one difference that I almost forgot to tell you. So if you want to have a lot of columns, so basically not just one block, but in one line, you want to have multiple blocks with MailChimp, you have this option here where you can choose one or two and you can adjust basically to equal or uh, one bigger and the other smaller, which is not really a lot of customization. And with sender, you have these sections as, and as you can see, you have a lot more options here. So that is one, actually that is one major difference, my bad. There is one major, major difference. Uh, but when it comes to the blocks, that's what I meant to say within the blocks, you don't have the, any major differences per se. So now a couple of things that you can do on MailChimp that you can do on Sender. So first of all, on MailChimp, you have landing pages. So as you can see, they have a few templates. They only have 10 templates for landing pages and it's pretty much all just opt-in pages. Um, so I'm really not impressed. Honestly, I don't like MailChimp landing pages. And also, aside from that, let me see, actually, where is the builder? You also have a website builder with MailChimp. And you, as you can see, you can build out a fairly nice looking website. But honestly, there isn't much, much customization. It's very basic. And I wouldn't even expect it to be more because this is email marketing software. So do you keep in mind that you're definitely going to have a lot of limitations and I would definitely advise to use another tool to create your website. So even though there is this tool with MailChimp, I wouldn't really recommend using it. When it comes to sender, if we go to the feature section, you will see that they have this landing page builder, but it's not there yet. It's coming soon. 
and I'm honestly not sure when exactly it's coming. And also SMS marketing and push notifications. It's not on Sender yet, but they say that they are working on it and it should come out soon. So that's just something to keep in mind if you need landing pages most of the email marketing softwares out there do you have landing page builders so that is one thing for the for sender that they do not have yet all right so now let's talk pricing and this is where things get pretty interesting first of all with sender you have a free forever plan and it's up to 2500 subscribers which I think is the most out of all the free email marketing softwares. There is a little thing here that you can send up to 15,000 emails a month. So you do have email restriction and depending on how exactly you're going to do your email marketing, you might run out of the emails you can send before you actually reach the that amount of subscribers. I would say that is pretty likely if you're actually going to run campaigns and automations. If you look at MailChimp, they also have a completely free plan and it's up to 2000 contacts. And I believe it's 12,000 emails that you can send per month completely for free. The problem here is though that you don't have a lot of the features with the free plan it is very limited if you want to use all the automations and all of those type of things you can't do that on the free plan with mailchimp whereas with um sender as you can see here whoops you have all of the features included so this is something to keep in mind so definitely for the free plan sender wins <laughs> easy and easy day win for the free plan definitely a better option there are some other softwares that i recommend as well uh, such as uh, mailer light and musa and musa and just got some features that are really really powerful um, that you can use uh, they have really great free plans as well so definitely check out those softwares they can compete with sender uh, as well now when we look at the actual pricing once you need to start paying they actually have this thing here where they compare sender with all of these different softwares as you can see and sender is really cheap so to start out it's up to you 5,000 subscribers it's only $11 which is mind-blowingly cheap if you compare that to um, MailChimp, it's $53. It's basically five times more expensive, which is absolutely insane. And the same with all of these other softwares. Again, it, these are more expensive softwares, let's be honest here. There are a couple that are cheaper. So again, MailerLite, Moosend, uh, I made some videos about them, check them out. Uh, they are definitely cheaper, but still, they are at least double the price for what sender is uh they do provide more functions so at the same time if we look at the amount of subscribers it, when the subscriber amount progress the price does it would sender it basically just doubles if you go from 5,000 to 10,000, the price is double from 10 to 25 uh, it's well it's double as well and so on and so forth and that's not quite the case with other email marketing software. So this is something you have to keep in mind that the difference narrows as the subscriber amount increases, but it's still a massive difference. If you look at 10,000 subscribers, it's $23 compared to 80, uh, 25,000, $59 compared to $200, still a massive, massive difference. And more importantly than that, what they are doing here, they are comparing MailChimp basic plan with senders um, all the different features. So if we look at MailChimp, you have the essential plan that this is the, the plan that uh, they are comparing it with. As you can see, if we look at, or let's just go back to 5,000 is $53. But you do have a lot of limitations with the essential plan. So I would say that if you look at the essential plan, honestly, the functionality of sender is probably better than MailChimp. So if you're going to go for essential plan, I would say just 
go with sender. And uh, so most likely you're going to go with standard plan because then you really get all of the functionalities of the automations. And as you can see, customer journey builder and all of these different things. So for a vast majority of the people, you will want the standard plan and the standard plan, as you can see for 5,000 subscribers, it's actually $80. So if we look at that, then here it's $11 compared to $80, it's actually eight times more expensive. 10,000 subscribers, let me just check, I'm pretty curious about this. Okay, 10,000 subscribers, it's $105 compared to $23, still five times more expensive, but I think that is a little bit more fair comparison between the two softwares. So honestly, I'm not a huge fan of MailChimp. I think MailChimp just overcharges money because they are just the most well-known software out there. There are definitely better options. And I would say Sender is probably a better option and you can save up a ton, a ton of money. I do have to say that for me, MailerLite and MoveSend, even though they are a little bit more expensive, I do think that they are worth paying that little bit extra for what you are getting. If you want to stay on budget, uh, there are some like active campaign and get response are absolutely amazing, but they are a lot more expensive. So it's hard to compare the two. But if you're on budget, MailerLite, MooSend are really good options that I would go for. And if you are really on low budget, then Sender is a good option. When compared to MailChimp, I would just say go with Sender instead of MailChimp. So I hope you found this video useful. Hopefully it's going to help you to make a decision, which hint hint is not to go with MailChimp and to go with Sender or some other software for um, the matter. And as I said, I do have some special dis discounts and bonuses. So check out all of the links down below in the description. Also have some really useful freebies. So make sure to check them out as well. All the links down below and check out my main YouTube channel for some useful marketing content, my Instagram for some quick, actionable growth hacks. And if you found this useful, then make sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, put on those notifications. Stay awesome and I'll see you soon.